there are different types of workloads that a container or a pod can serve. Web applications, database, which means to run for a long period of time until manually taken down. Additionally, batch processing, analytics, reporting are meant to carry out a specific task and then finish it. Examples are performing a computation, image processing, analytics on a large data set, generating a report and sending some emails. Kubernetes job will perform a task and exit and restart continuously to perform the task again and again. You can create a job using kubectl create job command and then you can provide the job name and then afterwards in the same way like you create an a pod, you can pass the images, additional commands and etc. The YAML definition of a pod would look like this and then the API version is batch v1, the kind is job and then you will have the job name and under the spec section, right, you will have the template and under the template you will be providing your same like the pod template. Under the pod YAML definition, under spec, when you provide the completions as three, three pods will be created sequentially. If the job randomly fails in between, it will try to achieve three successful completions. Without waiting for three pods to get completed one after another, number of pods which can run parallel can also be defined under specs parallelism by defining how many pods that you can run in parallel. Back off limit can also be defined which specify number of retries before considering a job as failed. Default back off limit is six and then you can change that back off limit by setting up this value. Active deadline seconds can also be set uh, which ensures that the job will be automatically terminated by Kubernetes if it takes more than uh, 30 seconds in this example to execute no matter how many ports are created. You can create the job using the uh, YAML definition using kubectl create minus f. You can get the jobs using kubectl get jobs. You can check the pods using get pods. You can directly check the logs of the pod or else you can use logs uh, job slash and the job name and to check the logs uh, which is created by the pods. And then you can delete the job by using the kubectl delete job command as well.